Welcome back to the shop. My name is Steven Schroeder, captain of the Ursus Fight Club. Today I'm going to share with you a new method of attaching your straps to your armor. This is going to revolutionize the way you do armor repairs and it's going to save you tons of time going forward in the future. Nobody likes to be left out of a fight because their strap is broke. This way you'll be able to replace your straps in 10 seconds. In a fight, when a strap breaks, we're going to have to have the tools in order necessary to repair it. First, we have to get the the buckle out, the uh, rivet out. We're either going to be using a nippers trying to get in here, find the right angle necessary, trying to cut this thing out. If that doesn't work, we need to get in there with a chisel and a hammer, finding a way to uh, support it as you're peeing it out. Sometimes you have to get a drill, uh, center mark this with a center punch. Uh, supporting it in here, center punch it, get a drill, drill this thing out, use a, uh, a drift to go ahead and push that rivet out. Then you have to make sure that you have the correct size rivet on hand. You're going to get the rivet in there, you have to have the new strap, then you have to support that rivet somehow back on something on site so you can then cut that rivet to size with the nippers once again and then hammer that thing down. I had simplified this project in process in the past by using um, aluminum brazier rivets. The aluminum brazier rivets have a nice wide head that when you, you know, use them to attach the leather gives a nice uh, support on that leather and the benefit of these is that they cut like butter. It just doesn't take anything to cut these or uh, knocking them out so they can be placed fairly easily but you still need access to all of these tools and a place to work. What if we had a new system, a new way of replacing straps that didn't require these tools? Now what would you say? Now I'm gonna show you how to do what I'm calling button straps. So to do the button straps, you need to decide the type of rivet you're using. Here, I'm gonna use what is called a truss head rivet. Now the truss head rivet, look how flat and wide this head is. That's going to give you lots of holding power on that leather and you're going to make sure that it stays in place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the strap, I'm going to punch the size hole that I need in that strap. Now this is the same as all the other times we would ever do a rivet. So we just make sure that this rivet fits in there. It's going to be nice and snug. It goes great. Now this is where we're going to deviate from doing a rivet normally. What I'm going to do now, if we can see this, is I just put a, a razor knife in the hole and I just push down slightly and I'm going to get a little cut in this strap. Now that we have that done, we're going to put the rivet in here, put that on the in the hole. Now it's important to use a spacer. Here I've got a butter knife that I've just cut a little slot in. This is, um, you can try different thicknesses. I want something that's not very thick. I'm going to put that in there. You flip it over. Now we are going to go ahead and clip that rivet down, snug as possible to the metal. With the nippers, it leaves plenty of uh, shoulder material here. And we're now going to go ahead and clean this over. Now that we've done that, this butter knife comes out. The, the strap is still snug in there. It's not really loose, if you can see that. There's not a lot of extra material. When we were hammering the back, it takes out some of the thickness. And uh, notice that this button, is, the uh, shaft itself, expanded when we struck it. And that makes it thicker than the hole, so it's not going to go anywhere. Now that we have this and we've got this strap, it's very simple to go ahead and slide that strap over on top of it. You can pre-make these straps, have them in your bag ready to go. You can have uh, the straps that have the buckles already on the end. You're done. When this strap breaks, you simply take it off, take a new one, put it on, and you're ready to go. You can have people on the sidelines with holding extra spares for you, for the team. You no longer have to make sure you have the right size rivets and all the tools. It's done. There's one more method I want to show you, and that's using it um, 
if you're attaching it to the outside uh, my concern with using a truss head is if this takes a solid shot with a steel weapon we can bend and deform this rivet head so one thing we're going to do here is we're going to use a regular round head rivet and we're going to do it um, with a round head rivet this time it's going to be the exact same process nothing changes except now um, you have this on the outside again we're going to clip this over same process so again you have a button hook and we can do this this I use on the outside of the armor where it's going to be exposed this I use on the inside uh, where it's important to have the strap protected not um, rubbing against other things or having the risk of having it cut off so either one of these goes ahead and gets replaced easily now if it's important to you have the uh, the rounded look of the rivet on the outside but I want to attach the rivet on the inside what you do is you take your rivet attach it on the um, put it all the way down like you would do normally uh, put this on there we're gonna put the spacer in there this time I put the spacer on top because I'm gonna use a washer on the outside edge here so we've got the, uh, the rivet all the way against the metal the leather um, the washer and the spacer all together if there's any extra material we're going to go ahead and trim that off at this point now I'm going to want to leave a little bit more material when I do it this way because we're going to need to uh, pin this over a little bit better now doing this it's easier to use the handle of the the space or the butter knife as a handle here so I'm balancing on here and I can go ahead and pin this rivet over now take this out and the same thing happens one thing I don't like about this though is that these when you do this this rip this washer or this rivet will be a little bit looser and so you're gonna have to futz with these a little more when it's time to replace this strap it's still doable it's still not a problem um, any one of these three methods works brilliantly um, go forth and spread the gospel thank you for joining us in the shop I hope you find these button straps useful for when you need to repair. Have a great day.